Sup guys, welcome back to another video. This is Pranay. Today I've got something special for you guys, especially for content creators, filmmakers, editors. I mean everybody watching this video. You know color grading is an important part of our editing process. And yes, in this video I'll be going to review the Cinemagic Workflow color grading plugin for FCPX from cinemagicluts.com. To be honest with you guys, this thing is actually super helpful for my editing workflow. It's actually an FCPX plugin which is very powerful and intuitive with easy to use slider interface that help you get your desired look to your videos very easy and efficiently. So without any further ado, let's go! Let's go. Well, I just opened Final Cut Pro and imported a few footages. And now let's start with editing. So I have a clip here. First, let me go here to titles, go to custom, and let me drag this adjustment layer to the timeline. Now let's go and search for Cinemagic workflow. And let's drag this over to the adjustment layer. So the Cinemagic workflow is here. And now let me do some base grade to over this clip here. So base grade, okay, I think that's reduce some exposure, increase some contrast, gamma a little bit down, go to the blacks and increase the blacks, no need of fill white. This thing recovery is a very useful option in case you have clipped footages, you can actually recover the whites from here. And you have skin tones. You can actually adjust your skin tones very easily with this slider. Now we have dehaze here. I think I don't want that. Now let me increase the saturation a little bit. And increase the white balance. To give it a warm look. I think that's good. I don't want to mess up with the tint. Now let me go, as you can see that you can actually increase and decrease the hues of each individual colors. Now let me go to hue of orange and let me try to tweak that a little bit. And now let me go to the hue of blue. And also there is an option for cinema travel vintage, the cinema look. If you adjust the slider, the travel look with that teal vibe and that vintage look with that desaturated kind of vibe. And you also get that 35mm film look here. And you also get that film grain. You see that? Right, let me adjust a little bit of film grain. I think 5 will be good. You can see that. And you also get that sharpen tool which is very easy just slide it and boom i think we'll go with 20 and yes look at that let me show you the before and after this is before and after before after that's so great right you actually finished editing this clip in just under a minute or so now let's see the next clip boom that's great you can actually apply the Cinemagic workflow to your clip individually and you can actually do some base grade here and you can actually adjust from here I'll do some contrast I'll do some recovery here and some dehaze and boom look at that that's so great you also get the LUT stacker you can just drag and drop and you can actually import LUTs and adjust it accordingly. If 
If you would like to purchase this plugin, go to the link in the description below and also use the promo code PRANAI15 for 15% off anything in the store. I hope you will check out this plugin for yourself. And yes, I'd really like to thank CinemagicLutz.com for this amazing plugin. If you need any assistance regarding this plugin, you can contact them, they are right there to help. So that's it guys, hope you all liked this video. I hope this was informative and interesting. So take care, catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.